So here we have Farringdon House, situated on the eastern outskirts of the city of Exeter, with good links into the city and also to the airport. It's a wonderful historic building which has been created into arrangement of apartments. We are marketing a ground floor apartment which is here on the corner. It's a two double bedroom with large light and spacious living room, master en suite, large kitchen dining room, further shower room and quite a variety of storage covers. So it's situated here in this wonderful setting, surrounded by grounds and countryside. And also with the property, it's allocated parking. There's parking here and also further over, there's another car park with further parking. So I'll just take you in to see the property. So coming in through the main communal front door, we come into this wonderful entrance hallway with stairs leading up to first floor. Lovely attractive room. And then at the end here, doors that lead through to the further hallway and or to, to apartment three. So coming in through from the front door, we come into this large entrance hallway. The first section here has night storage heater and entry phone, lovely high cove ceiling and doors to two storage covers. So this one is a really deep cupboard and there's also some plumbing in here. So it could be a utility room. There's extractor and light. And then the cupboard, the other side is just a shallow cupboard that houses the electrics. So then coming through here, we have further hallway space with doors leading to in a hallway that leads through to the living room and kitchen, door to bedroom one, and further door that leads through to another in a hallway to a shower room and bedroom two. So out in this part of the hallway, we have another useful cupboard. It's complete with coat hanging space and some further shelving. So we'll just go through to this end and show you the living room and kitchen. So coming off the entrance hallway, we come into this further inner hallway with door leading through to the kitchen dining room and an archway through to the living room. It's got a high cove ceiling and some fitted spotlights. So again, coming through from the inner hallway, through an archway, we come into this lovely light and spacious living room with these wonderful tall windows to the front. It's south facing, so a lovely sunny room. Both windows have deep sills, so they've got window seats. You've got two modern electric radiators, wall lighting, this lovely high cove ceiling. And then down at the end here, a feature fireplace with electric coal fire and TV and telephone points. It's just a lovely room. Coming through from the inner hallway, we come into this lovely spacious kitchen dining room. Plenty of space for dining table. So you've got space for a freestanding fridge freezer, an extensive range of base, wall, drawer and display units in a light wood finish. 
lovely tall window to the front with outlook over the drive and communal gardens. So in here you have space for a slot in electric oven, stainless steel sink at the end, space and plumbing for dishwasher and around here further space for appliance currently housing a condenser dryer and also you have a large night storage heater and a TV point. So leading off from the entrance hallway, we come into the main bedroom. Again, a lovely light and spacious room with high cove ceiling. This large window to the side with outlook over the gardens and a deep sill. There's an electric night storage heater here and this arrangement of built-in wardrobes with further storage above. And then around in the corner is the door leading through to the ensuite. Here we have the ensuite to the main bedroom. It's fully tiled walls, attractive room. Down in the corner, you've got a night storage heater and electric ladder style radiator. It's a white suite comprising of low level WC, hand wash basin set in vanity unit, and a bath with folding glass screen mixer tap and shower head attachment. Um, also in here you have this lovely wet room style walk-in shower enclosure, which has mixer shower over. So coming off the entrance hallway, we have a further inner hallway that leads around to bedroom two and a shower room. In this hallway again high cove ceiling and a door to an airing cupboard which houses the hot water tank and shelving so i'll just show you bedroom so two from the inner hallway we come into bedroom two again a nice size double bedroom with a tall window to side and a high cove ceiling Plenty of room for a double bed. You've got night storage heater and an arrangement of built-in wardrobe and storage cupboard. So here we have a shower room, low level WC, hand wash basin, night storage heater and glass sliding door to a child shower enclosure with electric shower over. And then to this side, sliding doors to a large storage cupboard with space and plumbing for washing machine. So coming out of the front, we come out onto this communal garden area got a feature pond water feature here and then steps leading up to a large expanse of lawn with seating south facing so a lovely sunny aspect and there's further gardens located around to the side of the property so the property is being marketed by East of X estate agents. And for more information, if you visit our website, www.eastofx.co.uk.